So we have here a brand new, well, I say brand new, it's about a week, and a, a week old now to me, uh, Super 73 Z1. As you can see, for the most part, it's fairly stock cosmetically. Um, I added some rear folding pegs. <clears throat> it's cool if you have, uh, if you want to try to put a passenger on there. It's a little small, but can be done. Um, you might notice I have a different thumb throttle. Um, this is actually from Amazon. And then I also have outfitted a Amazon $35 speed controller, which I have, uh, and I could drop in the link. And then we have this battery pack here, which is just a, a cheap universal pack that I've made myself. <clears throat> this is utilizing some uh, P42A 45 amp output 2170 cells, 20 of them, so it's a 72 volt pack. <clears throat> and then over here, in this backpack, I have a 52 volt battery pack. Doesn't have any writing on it, but this is a 52 volt pack using Samsung 30T cells. Um, both of these have actually been set up so that they're running the exact same length cable. Um, this is a spare battery pack just that's kind of for testing things. Um, so And so is that backpack lead. So they kind of work out that we have the same length and wiring. <clears throat> so what we're going to test today is, this is a 30 amp limited from the BMS. 20s so 72 volt battery fully charged 84 we'll check that uh versus a 52 volt bat battery that's fully charged at 58 volts um this has a 50 amp bms so technically we should see more torque less top speed and less torque more top speed if you do the math though the end equation ends up roughly about the same for the wattage um and i'll put that math in the uh, description um, and then also what we have fitted here, which you can see right here, is a, this is actually a draggy. So this is a GPS derived unit uh, that works off of a GPS and an accelerometer to get quarter mile results. So if you're in the automotive industry, you'd notice a lot of performance car guys use these to you know do some street testing. So this gives us some really good data. Uh, I have this set for to record zero to 30, zero to 40, eighth mile and then quarter mile um so we're going to see what the bike can do in those tests on both battery packs um to kind of get an idea of what the different voltages different amperages do and uh, i'll try to include i'm hoping that the camera can do both um the gps data from the go uh, from the draggy and from the gopro so um we'll see how this goes but for the first step that's where we're at i just kind of wanted to go over it so it's a basic breakdown we got a 72 volt uh 1p pack so it's just a one parallel so this is a kind of a crazy little pack here uh, it's just 20 cells in here versus a 52 volt 5p pack so we got quite a bit more actual power here but the voltage offset is going to give us some speed so it'll be interesting to see how it plays out so let's follow along and see how it goes <clears throat> well. GoPro. Looks like we touched 40 for a glimpse there. As you can see I had it kind of duck down. Again, the voltage was dropping down pretty heavy, so we were down in the 67 range. There's a lot of voltage sag. It's a small pack. Remember, so it's only a 1P, so there's just 20 individual cells making up the 72 volts. So um, all in all, I think that's pretty good. So we got the data here. Um, 
So it shows it did 0 to 30 in 9.8 seconds. It did 60 foot in 3.55, the eighth mile in 17, the thousand foot in 23, and the quarter mile in just under 30 at 29.88. So we're going to head back, grab a 52 volt back pack, put that in there, and uh, we'll compare the results. Hopefully add the GoPro data in there and uh, be able to get some cool data uh, between the two, the two voltage systems. So. This is the same controller. Uh, this controller just happens to be multi-voltage. So right now on this setup, it's actually running 30 amps at 72 volts. And then the next one will be 52 volts at 50 amps. So I click this off now. So the second part of the video, we have all the, the drag data. I reviewed it. It looks good. We've removed the 72 volt battery so that the weight difference doesn't come into play. Um, on the 72 volt setup, even riding back home, I, I mean, this is the motor is absolutely cold. It's maybe a degree or two above the ambient temperature out here. Um, I mean, it's hard to distinguish the difference in temp. So we don't have any heat issues coming into play. Controller is fine. No heat. I mean, it was just obviously just over a quarter mile run, so it wasn't very far. So we have the backpack on. Kickstand this time. And let's go. Regardless, I definitely think it was slower. We definitely had a slower top speed. I could pretty much feel it. I believe at least throughout the entire pool. All right. I believe this is the same spot. Maybe not even. We might have came up a little short. But regardless, I definitely think it was slower. We definitely had a slower top speed. I could pretty much feel it. I I believe at least throughout the entire pool. Let's stop the data. So and that's what it looks like. So 33 second quarter mile, 3.78 60 foot. So I don't remember off the top of my head the other one, um, but we'll be able to compare that data. Reference, we're down to only 57 volts. This pack has a lot more batteries in it. It's a 5P pack. Sorry, this actually might even be a 6P pack. And, no, it's a 5, excuse me, with Samsung 30Ts. So the amperage here is, it's, you know, it's going to stay up, the voltage, excuse me, whereas in the other pack it was dropping off. So um, I actually have a project of a 2P 72 volt battery that I'm making that will be sitting right here. Um, so I'm pretty sure when that gets done, it, it'll probably hit not much more than that 40, but it'll probably hit that 40 a lot easier, so. Alright guys, we just finished up the 52 volt versus 72 volt challenge on the Z1 Super 73. I think the results speak for themselves, it's pretty clear. The 72 volt pack is definitely the winner, even though it's only a 1P pack, meaning it just has 20 cells inside that pack. It was able to out accelerate top speed um, so it's truly the winner in this situation um, just want to know obviously the range on this pack be very limited I've already tested it it's about seven miles if you're interested in doing something like that um, these are the cells that I use which are the p42 a's p42 
These are, they test red, these actually have tested right around 4,000 uh, milliamps. And, uh, you know, seven, seven miles for the discharge rating of that cell isn't bad. The 52 volt pack that we were using is actually a Luna Cycle Pack, fantastic pack. I use it for my other e-bike. Um, it has a 50 amp BMS in it, continuous, and it's made up of some Samsung 30T cells. So it's a 5P pack, nothing wrong with the pack, nothing wrong with that at all. It's just that the voltage on a hub motor is what turns the, the RPM, RPM is speed. So if you wanna go faster or a higher mile an hour, you need more voltage. So that's where the 72 volt really shined in this situation. Um, because we're not using a ton of amperage, we're only using 30 amps, uh, you know, the factory wiring, which is rated at 25, this is not overheating, it's fine. The engine temp has stayed fine. Um, and so far it's been a great experience. Uh, if that changes, you know, I'll update you guys, but so far, definitely loving it. You guys can see back there, I have the little test uh, gas tank battery going on. Um, we got some suspension forks on the way and really look forward to uh, pushing it with a new battery and seeing how it does and enjoying the uh, enjoying the ride. That's what it's all about. So I appreciate you guys watching the video and hopefully it's inspired some of you guys to, to go the 72 volt route instead of the 52 volt route if you're looking for that top end. So.